Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've got you a deep yoga flow routine that's going to help regulate menstrual cycle in women. If you have a PCOS or any other hormonal imbalances, this video is for you. And in this class, I will be teaching you some effective asanas that's really powerful when it comes to regulating your cycles and getting you back on track with all your hormones. And you don't need any equipment for this class, just yourself and a mat. And once you're ready, roll it out. Let's get it started. Let's start the class by getting ourselves onto the tabletop position. Hands right underneath the shoulder blades and your legs are open to the hip distance apart. I want you to arch your back slowly as you gaze up to the ceiling, looking up. And breathing in the space, going in for a beautiful back stretch. And now as we move on to cat and cow stretch, I want you to exhale down, curling your back, reaching the spine up to the ceiling. Inhale, arching your back and gazing up to the ceiling once again. Exhale down, let's go in for the spinal wave until you hear the next beep. And now as we hold this pose, I want you to curl your toes underneath and you're going to sway your body back and forth, trying to get your glutes down towards your legs as much as you can, working the full range of motion. And back to the center, let's go in for some hip openers. For this, I want you to bring both your legs in towards each other. Extend your left leg to the side and rock yourself back and forth. So this is going to open up your pelvis, your hips. And now you're going to drop your elbows down to the mat, extend the arms right in front of your chest and hold it here. And getting ourselves back to the center, let's switch to the other side, this time taking the right leg to the side and rocking yourself back and forth. And now as we plant our elbows down to the mat, extend in front of you and hold it here. Engage your core. And now we're going to sit for the child's pose. For this, I want you to open your knees to the mat distance. Your feet are together and you're going to send your glutes down towards your legs. Extend the arms right in front of you as well. And you're going to drop the chin down and hold it in this child's pose. This is great to open up your hips and to regulate your blood flow to your lower body. And slowly raising ourselves back to the center, I want you to sit yourself in Vajrasana or the Thunderbolt pose. Another great asan to regulate blood circulation as well as to aid in digestion. 
and further progressing from this pose i want you to take your left hand place it down to the mat extend your right arm over your head and try to lengthen your body towards the right side And switch this time lifting your left hand over your head stretching for your left side body back to the center we are going in for downward facing dog for this I want you to curl your toes underneath press the palms down to the mat and raise yourself up reaching the glutes up to the ceiling the modified version is shown on the pop-up screen on top. You can bend your knees and hold it if you're a beginner. But if you're good to go, I want you to straighten out your legs, placing the feet down to the mat and holding it here. Going in for little organic movements as you march your legs out. Great lengthening through your lower body. Yoga is all about breathing. So try to connect all these moves and asanas with your breathing. Get that airflow in inhale and exhale as you stay in this pose as we stay comfortable in this pose i want you to lift your left leg up to the ceiling bend your knee and we are going in for knee hip circles we're going to do five circles on each side great to open up your glutes and your hip flexors Take your time to switch to the other side bend your right leg this time and circle it out nice and slow take it at your own pace as you keep breathing great job with that plant your leg down holding down for the downward facing dog and try to press in this pace And let's get back to our tabletop position and now we are going in for some feel-good asanas we're going in for pelvic circles you're simply going to draw circles with your pelvis nice big circles we're going to do six circles clockwise and six anti-clockwise so get it at your own pace And let's switch six circles for anti-clockwise reverse the direction And for the second part of this class, we are going in for a yoga flow. For this, I want you to get yourself down to the downward facing dog and holding it here. I want you to bring your feet together inside and you're going to lift your right leg up to the ceiling. You're going to bend your leg and you're going to stretch it out just for a quick flexibility down to your leg. If you are a beginner, you can keep your left leg bent like so. And now you're going in for a giant leap forward as the right leg comes in between your hands for a big lunge. Again, the beginner version is showed up on the screen. You can drop that back knee down if you're a beginner. And now you're going to prepare your body to raise yourself up. Get your hands down to your knee and raising yourself up. Please make sure your back is straight. Beginner version showed up on the screen. And now we're going in for warrior one as you lift both your hands up over your head. Nice and strong. Drop the back knee down if that feels comfortable. If you're good to go, hold it here. Shifting asana to warrior two. Try to square your hips forward. Lengthen your arms and gaze towards your right side.
and now you're going to place your right hand down to the right thigh and extend your left arm over your head lengthening your left side body Moving on to Trikosana or Triangle Pose. For this, I want you to bring your left leg in towards your right. Please make sure the toes are facing accordingly. And now you're going to extend your torso to the right directly over the plane of your right leg. Depending on your flexibility levels, you can place your hand down to your shin or your ankle or if you're advancing and if you want to challenge your body, you can place it down to the mat. As you extend your left arm and your gaze is softly towards your left Thumb. Try to anchor this move by strengthening the left leg and pressing the outer heel firmly to the floor. Slowly collapsing the pose, I want you to drive both your hands down as you get yourself back to the center. You're going to try and bring both your legs in towards each other. Sliding your left arm down, raising your right over your head, going in for a beautiful reverse stretch for your waist and core. back to the center great job let's get back to the downward facing dog we're going to repeat this entire flow onto the other side so i want you to rest here for a couple of deep breaths before we start the flow on the other side and let's draw both the legs towards each other as we lift our left leg up to the ceiling and going in for a stretch as we bend and extend and get ready for a big giant leap forward as you bring your left leg through the gateway between your arms modified version as shown up you can drop that back knee down if that feels good try to engage in little organic moments and now as we press our hands down to the knee we're going to raise ourselves up upright back nice and straight Get ready for warrior one as we extend both your arms up straight, your gaze is in front. Drop that back knee down if you are a beginner. Shifting from warrior one to warrior two. Dropping your elbow down to your thigh and extending for your right side body. Try to press your elbow down to your thigh and that way we're getting deeper into the groin and hip flexor stretch. And let's prepare our body for trichosana or the triangle pose. For this I want you to bring your legs towards each other in a comfortable distance. Drawing your left hand down to your thigh or shin or your ankle or down to the floor. Challenge your body and choose where you want to stay. And extend your right arm and softly gaze towards your right thumb. Please don't fall forward. Try to lengthen your torso and stay towards the right side. And collapse the pose as you slowly bring your legs towards each other to a comfortable distance. Raising ourselves up, we are going in for the reverse stretch as you slide your right hand down to your leg, extending for your left side body. Let's complete the flow as we get ourselves back to the downward facing dog. Rest here, taking deep breaths. Returning back to the tabletop, let's finish off the last segment of this class part 3 which has some effective asanas that's great for our bodies. And the next asana we're going to do is Salabhashana or Locust Pose. This pose is great to massage out your ovaries and to reverse PCOS conditions. Chest down to the mat, hands taken right underneath your pubic bone and your legs are together. Your chin down to the mat. You're going to slowly raise your right leg from the mat as far as it feels comfortable as you press the pubic bone down to the mat, firming your glutes. Hold it here. And drop down let's switch for the left leg get comfortable and raise that leg up 
Try to press your stomach and your pubic bone down to the mat. And now you're going to lift both your legs nice and slow. Hold it up. Keep breathing. And slowly we relax back to the center. We're going to repeat the same thing again. You're going to lift your left leg up. Point the toes underneath for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's repeat for the right. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now both your legs up. Engage your core. Hold it for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. I want you to rest in this pose as you take your arms right in front of you, placing your head down to your arms and easing off in this pose. And for the next asana, I've got you Dhanurasana or Bow Pose, another great one to regulate menstrual cycle and to work your internal organs. You're going to bend your legs, open the knees out to the mat distance, and you're going to get hold of your feet. And you're going to take a nice big inhale through your nose and exhale, open your legs out. In that way, we are simultaneously raising our upper body up as well, stretching for your neck and gazing up. Modified version shown on the pop-up screen on top. If you have back issues, please do the modified version. And slowly drop back to the center. Let's do it one more time. I want you to inhale deep with your nose. Exhale out, opening your leg out and gazing up. Beautiful bow pose, massaging your stomach. Try to firm your glutes as much as you can. And great job, back to the center. We're going in for a quick stretch. For this, I want you to bring both your legs in towards each other. You're gonna extend your right leg and place it towards the left side of the room. So this is gonna stretch your lower back for all the asanas that we did. Try to extend as much as you can, feeling the stretch. Let's switch to the other side. Take your left leg this time, place it to the right side of the room. Next asan, we're gonna do Bhujangasana or the Cobra pose. For this, I want your palms pressing down to the mat as you slowly raise yourself up, gazing up to the ceiling. If you have back issues, lower back pain, or if you're a beginner working on your flexibility, you can do the modified version as shown on the pop-up screen. Another great asana that's going to improve blood circulation down your pelvic region to improve fertility and to regulate your menstrual cycles. And now we are going in for the child's resting pose or balasana just to soothe your nerves and ease off in this pose. For this, I want you to open your knees wider than your hips and you're going to sit back, sending your glutes down to your feet. Extend your arms right in front. This time, you're going to place your forehead down. I want you to keep breathing in this pose until you hear the next beep. And let's slowly raise ourselves back to the center. I want you to sit to the end of the mat through the length. And you're going to hug your knees and hold this pose. Try to compress your stomach. That way we're massaging it out and stretching for your shoulder blades as well.
and we have a one more final asana to do which is ananda balasana or the happy baby pose is such a beautiful pose it feels so therapeutic and it's really good to open up your pelvic region open your legs out knees wider than your hips you're going to get hold of your feet if you're not able to reach your feet you can get hold of your ankles and you're going to slowly open it out as you flex the foot underneath so this is great to open up your hips your pelvic region And as we stay in the happy baby, I want you to sway your body side to side, getting deeper into the stretch. And relax back down final final stretch to finish off I want you to simply hug yourself hug your knees and hold it in this pose embracing the body that you live in and let's finish off the class with the corpse pose or Shavasana I want you to lay yourself down comfortably on the mat, extend your legs, your hands beside you, close your eyes and gently begin to turn the process inwards. Release any effort from holding your limbs in position, relax your whole body, even your face. Your body deserves this pose. Please spend this quiet time to connect with your body and your breathing as you ease off and unwind yourself in Shavasana. I really hope you enjoyed this class. Try to do it at least two to three times a week consistently to see results. And I promise a good holistic yoga routine does wonders to the body in reversing any lifestyle disease. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, namaste.